In this video we'll briefly discuss what is esomeprazole. We'll learn how it works, what it's used for, the dose and side effects, contraindications and precautions. Esomeprazole belongs to a category of drugs called proton pump inhibitors. It suppresses the secretion of gastric acid, by combining with an enzyme located on the gastric parietal cells, called hydrogen potassium ATPase, which is the final pathway for acid secretion. And this decreases hydrogen ion transport, into gastric lumen, leading to reduction of the secretion of gastric acid. It is available as 10 mg, 20 and 40 mg tablets. And also available as granules for oral suspension. Esomeprazole is used in the treatment of heartburn, and other symptoms of gastroesophageal reflux disease. And used as a short-term treatment, in healing and symptomatic resolution of erosive esophagitis. It is also used in the treatment of Helicobacter pylori, in combination with amoxicillin and clarithromycin. The usual dosage for healing of erosive esophagitis for adults is 20 or 40 mg once daily for 4 to 8 weeks. And for gastroesophageal reflux disease, the usual dose is 20 mg once daily for 4 weeks. And for Helicobacter pylori eradication, the usual dose for adults is 40 mg once daily, for 10 days, in combination with amoxicillin 1000 mg twice a day, and clarithromycin 500 mg twice a day for 10 days. Adverse effects are usually few, but may include, headache, nausea, flatulence and diarrhea. Instruct patient to take each dose one hour before meals. Inform patient that antacids may be taken concurrently with esomeprazole. Remind patient that esomeprazole should be taken daily, and not as needed or only when symptoms are present. Instruct patient to notify physician if pregnant, planning on becoming pregnant or breastfeeding. Advise patient to report any of the following symptoms to the physician. Bloody or coffee ground emesis. Black terry stools. Recurrent heartburn. Recurrent indigestion or abdominal pain. Increasing need for antacid use. That's all for this video. Subscribe and click on the bell icon for more animated medical videos like this one.